Welcome, my name is Kira, and this is the eighth class in this series. Um, so well done you if you have done all eight classes. Um, it has been such a glorious deepening into our bodies, connecting into how we breathe and how we move. Today's class, we're going to be including many of the different elements that we have encountered, adventured into, moved into. And we're also going to include some core work today, just a little bit, just to engage the deep of our bellies. Um, so come lie on the floor. So landing on the floor, your knees are bent and your feet are flat on the floor. Have a sense of this moment. I love that sensing into the senses that I have to feel the room that I'm in, to feel how I am in my body. So with your eyes open or closed, what can you see? Notice sight in this moment. Can you hear the sound of your breathing? The sound of your heartbeat as it travels through the deep of you, the whole of you. Can you smell the air in the room that you're resting in? Can you taste the taste in your mouth? Can you feel the weight of your body resting on the floor? The contact, the pressure, that very reassuring weight of us as we rest, as we settle. And you feel the life as it moves within you. Life is motion. Everything is moving inside you. Every cell, every atom, every drop of blood is flowing within you. So can you get a sense of that flow of that movement in this moment? The breath, the whole of you. Deepening your breath down into your belly and just Focus on the exhalation, getting a little bit longer, lengthening, stretching, deepening. So squeezing the exhalation, allowing the inhalation to happen, and then squeezing the exhalation. Breath is a practice you can include in your day. Just noticing your breath as you walk, as you travel through your day. Noticing your breath as you sit in the car. It stabilizes us, it resources us, it grounds us. Just feel that in other few breaths. Inhaling and then squeezing the exhalation as you exhale. Nice. So reach your arms wide and bring your arms to the floor in a T. And just sway your knees from side to side. 
feel the enjoyment in your body as you learn this movement again and again and again as we hear this movement again and again in our body noticing the similarities noticing the differences nice all the way back to center draw your right knee up towards you squeeze it in just hugging it down release hug the left knee in squeeze it in and hug it down release bring both feet so they're flat on the floor hip distance apart and then roll up and down along your spine as you travel up as you travel down hear how your spine rolls like it's rolling like a rolling pin or whatever analogy works for you perhaps you're not rolling pastry but something else who knows you know so for me it really is that sense of very tangible rolling pin every single time i just feel so clear in me so feel for you what does this feel like in your body as you rise and as you drop great pause and rest on the floor and then lift your right foot up and have your knee so it's directly over your hip and then draw a circle with your right knee so draw your knee out and then around and i'm pushing the left foot extra into the floor as i do this i have a sense of my shoulders being steady my spine being steady and my knee rolling in a circle and then circle in the other direction if you feel like you're being pulled by your leg out to the side make the movement smaller just hear the circle of your knee bring your right hand to your right knee draw your knee out to the side holding on to your right knee and then bring your knee back to center and slightly push your knee to center and so sway your right knee to the right and bring it back to center right knee to the right keeping your lower back on the floor center one more time right knee to the right and center nice lower your right foot to the floor draw your left knee up onto your chest squeeze it in and then draw a circle with your left knee and again if you feel like you're being drawn out to the side by your left leg make the movement smaller and smoother hear the rolling of your knee the rolling of your hip the engagement into your inner thighs and buttocks roll in the other direction nice come back to center hold on to the left knee with your left hand open the left knee out to the side i'm pushing my right foot extra into the floor come back up to center and just travel out to the side back to center out to the side back to center one more time out to the side and all the way back to center nice lower your foot to the floor so lift both feet off the floor so this is the the abs bit or the core bit so both feet are off the floor and i've positioned my spine so it feels long on the floor bring your hands to rest onto your knees and push your hands into your knees and then your knees have to push into your hands and straight away there is engagement you can feel that something's happening in your belly just feel that draw your shoulders away from your ears feel like you're sitting on a chair and you're pushing your hands down into your knees nice keep pushing on the right side and then lower the left foot down and let it touch the floor lightly come back up push into the left side and lower your right foot down let it touch come back up push the right knee lower the left foot down push the left knee lower the right foot down nice one more time each side push the right knee 
lower the left foot down. You might be noticing a slight trembling in your body. It's okay. Push the left knee, lower your right foot down. Super job, how cool. Squeeze your knees up onto your chest and brace your elbows into the floor and draw a big circle with your knees. And then circle in the other direction. Super. And lower your feet to the floor. Pause. And then rolling over towards the side. Come all the way up into your cat pose. So hands are underneath your shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. Stretch your right leg long so it's back behind you. And then bend your right knee and drop your head down like you're going to try and bring your nose to your knee. And then stretch your right leg long behind you. Toe comes to the floor. Bend your right knee. Nose or forehead to your knee. Stretch your right leg long and stretch into your leg. Toe is on the floor. One more time. Bend your right knee. Forehead to your knee. Stretch your right leg long. And just really feel that pushing down into your calf, stretching into your calf as you do this. Nice. Bend your knee, bring your knee to the floor. And then the other side, draw your left knee forward, forehead down towards your knee. Stretch the left leg long, toe comes to the floor. Bend your knee forehead to your knee, stretch your leg long, toe to the floor, one last time, bend your knee, forehead to your knee, stretch your leg long and just pausing there, really feel that stretch into your calf, the length into your leg, nice, both knees to the floor, tuck your toes under, Push back into your downward dog. Mm, feel the stretch or the strength into your legs. Get moving back into your heels. This is the eighth class. How has your downward dog changed in that time? Slowly walk your feet to the middle of your mat. Walk your hands back and bring your elbows to your knees. Pausing there, just feel the rest of that, the support of that in your body. Bring your right fist to the floor and then pull your elbow back like you just pulled a weed or you're pulling a lawnmower string. Bring your right fist to the floor and then pull it back. And again, the right fist to the floor, pull it back and pause there. Nice, elbow to your knee, and then the other side. Bring your left fist to the floor, pull your elbow back. Bring your left fist to the floor, pull your elbow back. Left fist to the floor, pull your elbow back and pause there. You just feel that very beautiful dynamic of pushing your elbow down into your thigh and pulling your left elbow back. Nice. Both elbows to your knees, both hands to your knees, and slowly rounding up and come all the way up to stand. And just feel that through your whole body. Feet are flat on the floor, top of your head is rising, strong and steady in your body. Nice. Come stand to the front of your mat. So reach your arms wide and bring your palms together, reaching up and looking up. Bending your elbows, bend your knees, come all the way down. Hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your right foot back. So lengthen your right leg back and let it drop to the floor. Pause there in your lunge. 
Step back into your plank. Both knees to the floor. Lower all the way down. Bring your right elbow underneath your shoulder. Bring your left elbow underneath your shoulder. Interlock your fingers. Squeeze through your bum. Lift through your toes. Push your elbows down and rise. You can even push your hands a little bit into the floor. Just feel the length of the back of your neck. The length of the front of the torso, the whole of your body connecting. Great. And drop your head down, push your elbows down, reverse backwards. Cat pose, reverse backwards, downward dog. Nice. Walk slowly forwards towards the front of your mat. Bend your knees deeply, rounding up. Reach your arms wide, bring your palms together. Bending your elbows, bending your knees, come all the way down, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees. Hands to your shins, lift your chest and look forward. Hands to the floor, step your left foot back. Step it back into your lunge. Step back into your plank. Knees to the floor, belly to the floor. How super. Bring your left elbow underneath your shoulder. Bring your right elbow underneath your shoulder. Interlock your fingers. Squeeze through your bum. Lift through your toes. Push down into your forearms and even the sides of your hands. Lengthening, reaching, rising. As we did before, bring your right hand to the side of your mat. Look down the beach to the right. Coming back. Bring the left hand to the side. Look down the beach to the right. I was thinking, where's the sunglasses, man? <laughs> so come all the way down. Push your elbows down, reverse backwards. Reverse backwards. Bending one knee, bending the other knee, bend both knees, straighten through both legs. Walking slowly forward to the front of your mat. Bending your knees, rolling up, reach your arms wide, palms come together, reaching up, looking up. Palms come to rest to the front of your chest. So as we did in the first and the second video, we're going to do triangle again. So stepping back with your left foot. Your right foot is pointing directly forward. Your back foot's at a 45 degree angle. Tuck your left elbow in and reach your left hand straight up towards the ceiling. And then slide your right hand down your right leg until you land either above your knee or below your knee. Reaching through your fingers, breathing into your belly. Then bend your right knee and bring your forearm to your knee. Bend your left elbow and tuck your elbow down like you're trying to hold a newspaper beside you. Turn your chest towards the floor and bring your left fist to the floor. Just pausing there. Just feel that sense of connection to the floor. Bring your left hand flat. Turn your back toes so they're pointing forward and drop your left knee to the floor. Bring your right hand to your right knee and twist towards the right. Nice. Both hands to the floor, lift your back knee and then slowly hop forward to the front of your mat. Rounding upwards, reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, reaching up, looking up. Bring your hands all the way down, other side. So step your right foot back. So it's back around three foot back. Front foot is pointing directly forward. Back foot is at a 45 degree angle. Tuck your right elbow in and reach it up towards the ceiling. And then glide down your left leg. So as you glide down, you can stop either above the knee or below the knee. 
and find a place where you're extending that right arm up and lengthening through the right side of your waist. Breath is in your belly, you're reaching and lengthening. Bend your left knee and bring your forearm to your knee. Bend your right elbow and tuck your elbow down so you're squeezing your elbow down onto your side. Turn towards the floor, bring your right fist to the floor. And just feel that through the rib cage, through the back of your body. Bring your right hand flat. Turn your right toes so they're square to the floor. Drop your back knee down. Bring your left hand to your left knee. Turn towards the left. Twisting through the spine, breathing down into your belly. Nice, both hands to the floor. Stretch your back leg. Step forward, hands to the floor, forehead to your knees, slowly rolling up, reach your arms wide, bring your palms together, hands come to rest in front of your chest. Great, we will come to sit on the floor now, so come all the way down, and as always, notice how you sit down. How do you land onto the floor? Great, so come into zigzag so zigzag is where you start with your feet wide maybe two feet wide from each other drop both knees down towards the left and bring your left hand behind you slide your right leg across so the right knee is traveling towards the left knee and your right foot is traveling towards the left foot this is called clamshell and then slide your knee back and lean and sit upwards Bring your left hand behind you, slide into clamshell, and then bring your knee back to the floor, sitting up tall. One last time. Slide your knee, and then come all the way back. Nice, bring both knees back up to center. Drop both knees down towards the right. Bring your right hand behind you. Slide your left knee across till your foot lands on top of your foot and your knee on top of your knee. Slide back, zigzag. Slide your left knee over, clamshell. Slide back, zigzag. One more time. Slide your left knee over and then slide back. Correct. Bring both knees back up to center. So bring both feet together this time. So the soles of your feet are together, your knees are apart. I'm just gonna do spinning knees. So spin your right knee into the center. We're in zigzag. Spin your right foot into the center. Great. Spin your left knee into the center. And then spin your left foot into the center. One more time each side. Right knee lands in. You can have your hands behind you, as much support as you need. Right foot lands in. Left knee spirals in. Left foot. How wonderful. So holding on to your shins, grab them with your hands and sit up tall. Feel the sense of your neck and your throat lengthening because of the pull of your hands and the drawing down of your shoulders. Breathe down into your belly and even close your eyes. To those of you who have committed to and who have completed the eight classes, what an incredible achievement. You've made time for yourself and you have followed through in the most incredible way. So wonderful. So just sit there with a, a full heart or just a sense of wellness in this moment. Sitting tall, holding on to your shins. Nice. Draw your knees towards each other. Bring your feet so they're again a wide, but not as wide as before. So now they're maybe a foot wide and tuck your left foot in and rest it on the floor and draw your right elbow back and just look back behind you like you're trying to see somebody at a picnic behind you 
and automatically I hold on to my right knee and I look behind me. Lengthening through your body, rising through the spine, deepening into the whole of you. Nice, come back to center, change legs. Bring your left foot to the floor, tuck your right foot in, and then turn and look around the corner to the left, holding on to your left knee with your right hand. Left hand is behind you, create length through your body. Nice, and all the way back to center. So come lie on the floor, come all the way down. Drawing back onto your spine, feet are flat on the floor. Maybe you choose to stretch your legs out long. Maybe you choose to bring your arms wide beside you. Let's see how you are most comfortable right now. So deepen your breath down into your belly and just feel the whole of you right now. Softening the weight in through the back of your head, the back of your neck, and deepening and softening the backs of your shoulders, the length of your spine, the lower back, the pelvis, the buttocks softening and deepening into the floor the backs of your thighs, your knees, your calves, ankles, heels, the arches of your feet, the balls of your feet, your toes and the spaces between your toes, the front of your feet, your ankles, your shins, knees, front of your thighs, the whole front of your belly, the diaphragm, the rib cage, the heart, the lungs, collarbones, the front of your throat, your jaw, your lips, your teeth, your gums, your nose, your nostrils, softening and relaxing the whole of your body relaxing and releasing. Your shoulder blades, the upper arms, your elbows, the forearms, your wrists, the palms of your hands, the backs of your hands and all of your fingers. Whole body relaxing and releasing, resting, and softening, yielding into the floor, deepening into the floor. Connect to your wellness in this moment, that which is well a tangible, physical sensation of wellness, a place of comfort, a place of ease. How wonderful. So wiggling into your toes and wiggling into your fingers. And stretch your arms overhead and lengthen long down into your legs. Stretch from the sole of your feet all the way up into the tips of your fingers. Bending your knees and maybe rocking your knees from side to side. Maybe squeezing your knees up towards you. Slowly stay where you are or roll over onto your side. So it has been so wonderful to be here with you, guiding you through this process of hearing, listening, discovering. So thank you for joining me. Be well. Thank you.